The flu season is never any fun and getting the flu shot is always highly recommended. This year, the vaccine is not very effective and thousands across the country are catching the flu. Wash your hands, cough into your elbow, get the flu shot. A few things you'll hear people suggest in trying to prevent you from catching the flu. This year's flu season is shaping up to be the worst in nearly a decade, according to the latest report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, ending on January 20th. Well, in the about 10 years that I've been practicing medicine, I would say this is probably the, the most severe flu season that I've lived through as a provider. Um, and, you know, we're seeing probably we're close to peak, uh, but we do tend to see flu all the way through March. The flu vaccine this year is reportedly only 30 to 35 percent effective. Unfortunately, the the flu vaccine has to be made, of course, in anticipation of the of the flu season. So it's a complicated epidemiological uh, equation that I'm not privy to. But, you know, it's a there is some educated guessing involved. Um, and this year, the, the viruses that are cir circulating, the strains, are not the best match to the vaccine. Nearly 12,000 people have been hospitalized with confirmed cases of the flu and at least 37 children dead nationwide, some comparing it to the pandemic of the swine flu back in 2009. Even though the shot isn't very effective this season, Augustina says you should absolutely get vaccinated. The CDC and the Massachusetts Dep Department of Public Health and all infectious disease societies are recommending that people still get the, the vaccine because we have not peaked in our flu season yet. And for those who have symptoms of the flu, cough or fever, should be seen right away because the vaccine is most effective in the first 48 hours. You know, unfortunately, sometimes we stretch the 48 hour rule, especially for higher risk people, people with no functional immune system or, you know, the very young, the elderly. Uh, other, you know, pregnant women and so forth. But um, after four or five days, there's not a whole lot that can be done. The medicine doesn't kill the virus that's in your body. It just keeps it from continuing to replicate. So it shortens the duration of your illness, but it doesn't suddenly make you feel better. Zoe Zandora, WMCT News.